In part two of this interview, old Yoda talks baby Yoda. I don't know who Grogu is. Shocking, I know. I started by asking Yoda puppeteer and voice performer Frank Oz how he felt about the puppet being replaced with CGI in the Star Wars prequel trilogy. When something extraordinary is needed, puppets can't do that. They, they have limitations. Uh, and, and so there needs to be CGI, like the fight with uh, Count Dooku, with Yoda. I mean, George had this story and he couldn't say, oh, geez, Yoda, he's a puppet. I can't fight with him. So there goes that part. So he had to cut that whole thing out. So he couldn't do that. You're a, you're a slave to the story. And so he had to find a way to do it. And that was CGI. On the other hand, CGI can't be spontaneous and you can't converse spontaneously with somebody. And you can in certain... In, 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 certain uh, uh, tech, uh, technological stuff now, but it's not tactile. You can't touch it. And with puppets, you can. You can touch the puppet. You can talk to him back and forth, you converse. And so that's something that CGI can't do. So it's, it's not that people are taking over the jobs. It's just that some jobs are appropriate for C CGI and some prob uh, jobs are appropriate for puppets. Were you disappointed when you heard that this was happening to Yoda in the prequels or were you quite almost expecting it perhaps? No, not expecting it at all. I'm not unhappy. I, I'm there as a, a slave to the story. You know, my, my job is to bring a character to life, whether it's by voice or, I mean, I'm not a voice person. Uh, I, I'm a character person and I perform with, and the voice is only 10% of the character as far as I'm concerned. The rest of it is the actual work on the floor. But I was never uh, expecting it. I wasn't unhappy. I just wanted to help make it come alive. So I, I, and I understood that he had to have this fight. It had to be. And so I supported the, uh, what he wanted to do. No one's ever really gone puppets included because you were back anyway with the puppet for the last Jedi working once again with Mark, who's an important part of the process, bringing Yoda to life, right? Oh, incredibly so. And, and, and you could not have had CGI there with Mark because the, it, it, he wouldn't have known who this character was because the only character that he knew was the puppet Yoda. So if he had, a, if he was talking to CGI Yoda, that would have been a betrayal uh, to the audience because the audience wouldn't have believed it because he never spoke to a CGI Yoda before. Uh, so Ryan uh, was able to do this because it was true to the story. I'm very fortunate and I'm the one who puts it together, but there's the writing, uh, there's... Uh, set design by people there's there's the great shop work who, people who do the costumes and who do the uh, the head and who uh and the work with me on it you know i'm the one who puts a soul to to it so i'm I, i'm very fortunate that i get all these people to help me and then i have an opportunity to create a soul and then after that if mark doesn't believe in that soul then i'm screwed you know i mean just it's just period so mark is a if is half the reason why it works. I'm the other half. Absolutely true. Still to come, Frank talks Grogu and Obi-Wan Kenobi. But if you're thinking, well, this is all well and good, Frank Oz, but what I really want to know is what Jamie sits at while conducting these interviews. Well, it's a desk, but not just any desk, it's a FlexiSpot E7, which will even excite one of your two pugs. I chose an ebony desktop with a white frame, and the quality is incredible. Installation is easy, even for an idiot like me. There's plenty of room for monitors, speakers, and more. But here's the best bit. At the push of a button, I can move between sitting and standing, which is great for long edits and will do wonders for my back and posture. I just need one of their nice ergonomic chairs now. Hint, hint, FlexiSpot, hint, hint. Right, on with the interview. View. And of course, there's another um, puppet on the scene, Grogu. Do you do you approve of young Grogu? I don't know who Grogu is. The the baby Yoda, as they as they Yoda. call it. <laughs> They're calling it. They called it Baby Yoda to begin with because the character wasn't named in the series The Mandalorian, and of course, the species does not have a name still. So it was just an assumption. Huh, baby Yoda. That's what we call it. Now it has a name, Grogu. It's not related to. Uh, Yoda, as far as we know. It is a puppet with a little bit of um, CGI added on. You must have seen it, right? I've never seen it. You're kidding me, Frank. And I have, and I hear, I mean, I have good friends like, you know, I, uh, who've directed Mandalorian and I want to see it and I have never had a chance. There's so much on TV. You're right. I will give you that. I will give you that. You're absolutely right. But I am still a man in shock right now. Um, you must have seen the character though here. I've just there's a picture of the character. 
It's very oh, cute. Goodness. Very cute. No, I never, I never saw him work. I saw pictures, and I think it's delightful. But... Ah, okay, you've seen pictures, so that was not an exclusive. Frank Oz seeing Grogu for the first time. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> I've seen pictures, and it's very delightful. I've just never seen him actually perform, or I've never seen The Mandalorian. And, and I hear it's fantastic. Uh, it's just so hard to see everything, you know. No, you're right. There's a lot out there now um, in this uh, streaming internet age. Um, would you like to, to voice uh, Grogu one day when he's all grown up? Because at the moment, he has no voice. I don't think so. I think I think there are other people out there. It depends. I mean, I, I guess the only way I would say yes is hopefully the way anybody else would say yes, if they feel soul in him. Uh, if they just do a funny voice, then uh, they, they've lost. But if mm. they sense a soul in that character and that soul feeds a voice, then yeah, I would do it if I sense a soul. Again, Star Wars is a pit stop. You're, you're still active, you know, as a, as a director. And in many ways in the industry and star Wars is always there. It's a constant, you know, in a lot of people's lives uh, and certainly in terms of their output right now. Um, and you have been back to record some lines for our, our mutual friend, sure. Armored best show the Jedi temple sure. challenge. You weren't there for the Obi-Wan Kenobi series with uh, you McGregor or Yoda was not there at all, which did surprise people. Was, was that a surprise for you? Were you ever approached for it or were there discussions at all? Nope. But that's okay. You know, when, when they want to use me, uh, I'm happy to, to work. And when they have other plans, I'm happy to do all the other stuff I have to do. So I'm, I'm, I'm very happy and blessed both ways. Okay, the real question now. Who would win in a fight, Miss Piggy or Yoda? They come from two different worlds. They would never meet. <laughs> <laughs> that's a very diplomatic answer from a man who is uh, emotionally and has been physically attached to uh, to it's, both characters it's true i mean that's the truth they would never meet frank it's been a pleasure to talk to you uh, again i know this will be our last time um i'm sure um but you never know it may not be the last time jamie who knows you i'm maybe telling know. you and begging you hey Stranger things uh, actually haven't happened, but who knows uh, what the future might bring. But uh, Muppet Guys Talking, I do really recommend it to anybody uh, watching this interview now. And I have linked to it in the and video it, description. Yeah, it's MuppetGuysTalking.com. I mean, it's not we, we're not making money off of it. We just we just love, you know, it was my wife's idea, the idea that it's time to bring the original performers together who always worked with Jim for 35, 40 years. And the stories we have to tell. And the secrets that we never told anybody behind the scenes with the Muppets uh, are, are amazing, you know, and we just we, we're just sitting talking. We're just chewing the fat. Don't forget to check out part one of my chat with Frank. And if you real world liked this video, then why not cyber like it as well? Goodbye.